Uh, very near to it. The last major Holy cow, we got 8.9 magnitude uh, earthquakes hitting Japan. Well, this, this website, this, this uh, how big today's tremor BBC is, is saying uh, uh, 8.4. Yeah, 8.9. But that's not as big as the Boxing Day tsunami of 2004. Uh, which was uh, 9.1, and to give you an idea, the one in, uh, off the coast of Indonesia in Box on Boxing Day, that was possibly twice as big. Okay, Nick Ravenscroft, thank you very much indeed. We're going to pick up again on NHK's commentary coming into his line. After a large earthquake hit northern Japan, magnitude 8.4 hitting Miyagi Prefecture, the quake was strongly felt here in our studios in, to in Tokyo, where a ma majority of our staff had to crawl under the desks as soon as they hit. People had a hard time standing up. This stuff just keeps getting this worse and the worse. The situation here in Tokyo. According to the Transport Ministry, Tokyo's Haneda International Airport has reopened all of its four runways at 3.56 p.m. Japan time. The airport has confirmed the safety of all runways. However, airports in Narita, in Miyagi Prefecture, are still closed so far. We'll give you posted as soon as we get more information. The powerful earthquake has stopped Shinkansen bullet trains across the country and trains around the Tokyo area. East Japan Railway says that all Tohoku Joets and Nagano Shinkansen lines have stopped. On the major Tokaido line, all trains between Tokyo and Shin Osaka stations were stopped for security checks. Central Japan Railway Company later said part of the Tokaido line resumed operations. The Tokyo Metro system. Yeah, I think this is the biggest worry, biggest worry about this whole thing is the, the tsunami that possibly is going to hit uh, Hawaii. That's kind of, that's a little bit troubling. Um, boy, here's some better, here's a better picture. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The, the video that I saw uh, with all the, the cars being washed away, it's just unreal how much water they got there. Holy cow. 8.9 magnitude. Many injuries, fires, a 4 meter tsunami. Strong aftershocks. A 10 meter tsunami following the quake which also caused buildings to shake violently. Boy oh boy. I sure hope I sure hope that doesn't do anything bad anywhere else but I uh, just wanted to make a little video and keeping track of this stuff. I knew I couldn't sleep for some reason tonight, and I guess this was it. So, uh, good luck, everybody in the in the area. I hope it turns out well. God bless.